Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. Hope all is well. Please check out my other two channels, the Tom Brand One, Tom Brand One, and uh, <laughs> Tom Brand One Thoughts. Why did I say three? It's the Tom Brand One and Tom Brand One Thoughts. Uh, we're going to do a baseball video for you guys here today. And, uh, you know, you, you've read the reports. The reports are that the Miami Marlins are looking to to trade uh, Gene Carlos Stanton. And uh, based, it was an article based on, it was an article on Yahoo Sports. I believe I've seen it on Yahoo Sports. As well as, um, it's actually according to Clark. Spencer of the Miami Herald and Yahoo Sports ran with it. Uh, and it goes that the Miami Marlins... Uh, Miami Marlins. Jesus. Yeah, the Miami Marlins reportedly told 28-year-old outfielder that if he didn't waive his no-trade clause and accept a trade to another club, they would still reduce payroll by selling off other talented players. And this is according to the Miami Herald uh, paper there. Wayne Heisinger... I am the Marlins' worst owner. John Henry just passing through. Jeffrey Loria, hold my beer. Derek Jeter, Leroy Jenkins. A Jeter, what I think what Jeter's trying to do is he's trying to clean up what Loria created. You can't change a team when a player is taking chunks of your salary away. He's starting over and wants to make moves and stand. Uh, is putting it to a complete halt, if you think about it. Stanton even said he wants to join a winning organization, so just, my opinion, take the trade and move on. Am I the only one that sees this as a good thing, trading Stanton? The Marlins aren't one piece away from being a contender this year. They're not even two pieces away. The dude is making 35 mil a year to hit, what, 280? Listen, don't get me wrong, 280. It's nothing to, to, to sneeze at, but I mean, look at the number that he's getting. I mean, listen, I get the numbers are there, but one above average player is not worth keeping if he isn't worth the contract. And nobody, nobody is worth the con that type of contract. I wouldn't give Trout, I wouldn't give Harper... Altuve that type of contract. Yes, trading Stanton would cause people not to be interested in watching the Marlins, you know, this coming year. But your TV ratings and stadium attendance is, tar is it's horrible anyways. So it's not like they're losing that many fans, honestly. But what if, what if the pieces that you acquire in the Stanton actually puts you in playoff contention in a couple of years. This year, next year. Is anyone going to care about Stanton at that point? Guy has never seen the playoffs. Pretty sure Jeter has been around the playoffs a few times in his career. You know, so, tell me again why it would be so terrible to trade Stanton. Cheater does know what it takes to be in the playoffs. Hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon.